Welcome to today's rock pooling video, where you find me at Wembury Beach near Plymouth. In this video, I end up finding some amazing sea creatures, so let's just get straight into the video and let me show you what I found. The rock pools of Wembury have loads of cushion stars in them, which is great to see as they aren't as commonly found on my local beaches. The five bearded rockling is normally very quick and easily spooked, but this one was relatively calm, so I was able to film this one before it managed to escape. One of my favourite finds from this trip was this blue edible crab, which is typically quite rare to see. Many juvenile edible crabs start off white in colour, but occasionally can be blue, before they take on their brown coloration. Snake locks and enemies with a green and purple coloration are one of the most beautiful species you can find while rock pooling. Many of the Wembury rock pools are dominated by this exotic looking coral weed. If you ever turn over a rock while rock pooling at Wembury, you're likely to find a common brittle star underneath it, and some individuals can be huge. This giant velvet swimming crab is one of the biggest I've ever found. And while I was trying to get some close up video of it, it actually grabbed the camera, which just highlights how aggressive these crabs can be. You can also find lots of green sea urchins at Wembury, and it's really interesting to watch their tentacles moving around. One of the most interesting finds from this rock pooling trip was this shore clingfish, a species which has never featured in my videos before. This fascinating rock pool fish can be identified by its duckbill snout, two blue eye spots on the top of the head behind the eyes, and large tentacles in front of each nostril. Their pelvic fin is modified into a sucker, allowing it to stick upside down on the underside of rocks. Another fish species you're likely to find during a rock pooling trip is the shanny. You'll also see a lot of colourful sea sponge patches on the rocks and in the rock pools.
One of the highlights of this rock pooling trip was my first ever spiny starfish. After saying I wanted to find this species in my best of 2022 video, it was amazing to find one so quickly. The spiny starfish is the UK's largest starfish species, reaching an impressive diameter of 70 centimetres. This species can be identified by its pale green-grey skin, purple tips to the end of their arms, and large white spines that cover their entire body. When it becomes disturbed or stressed, this species will actually shed one or more of its arms, but have the ability to regenerate the lost limbs. This particular spiny starfish happened to be in the process of regrowing a lost arm. Like many other beaches around the UK, the rock pools at Wembury Beach have lots of wireweed in them, an invasive species from Asia that has become established in the UK. A friend of mine managed to find this interesting creature. I believe this is a scale worm, a species that I rarely see while rock pooling, so it was nice to see. Another common species found in the rock pools of Wembury is the furrowed crab. These guys will most likely be under every rock you turn over. Here is a group of long spined sea scorpion eggs which was another great find, and you may be able to see some of them moving around. Another amazing find was this colourful clingfish. I believe this is a small-headed clingfish, but this species can be difficult to identify in the field. But regardless of the species, the coloration is stunning. Wembury Beach is a great place to find gobies like this rock goby, but these fish are incredibly fast, so are often difficult to film. A species I always seem to find at Wembury is the common top knot. This type of flatfish is common in rock pools and shallow waters, but its effective camouflage means it often gets overlooked. It can stay immobile for long periods of time to avoid detection, and can cling onto vertical surfaces and even hang upside down under overhangs. It is one of only a few species that exclusively live on rocky ground, compared to sandy ground that most other flatfish species prefer. Many of the upper shore rock pools at Wembury are dominated by beadlet anemones.
If you enjoyed this rock balling video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to be able to see more of my rock balling videos in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.